Oh, my dear sister, you're not a princess, my love. You're a uh, queen. I wish I was wearing that dress. Don't be envious. If you weren't pregnant, we would make one for you, too. You'll lose weight after the baby's born. We'll make you a dress that'll make everyone green with envy. <laughs> we don't need everyone envious. What we need is just one man to marry Tatiana. Mom, please don't start that again. <sighs> Mama, Tatiana, enough with the bickering. I have a special day today, after all. Mm. The prom. <laughs> <laughs> oh! He's here at last. Oh, is it Barsic? He's been hanging out for two weeks. Barsic! Oh. Barsic! Barsic! Barsic. Barsic. There he is. Oh! oh. Oh, no, it's it's over. Hey, over here, Igor. Want some wine to celebrate? I it all last night. No, thank you. I know, but now it's I'm going to take a walk. See what happens when a woman goes from the friend zone to the other zone? Come on, leave them be. It's none of our business. What are we drinking for? So what, drinking in love? To hell with it. Let's drink to our freedom. <laughs> Barsic, please get down. Barsic, Barsic. Please. Get come down! On. No, it's too I'll high. He sausage. won't get Maybe down. Come down. Oh, come on, on. Barsic, come here. here. Barsic. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Ah. Oh, how Barsic. can you ever climb up come there? Come here. Huh? Oh. oh. Hello there. Ah. Igor, hello. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Ah. Uh. <sighs> hello. Well, we have a date, and uh, what are you doing? Igor, will you help us get Barsic out of the tree? He won't come down on his own. Oh, please, Igor, help us. <laughs> do you got a ladder around here? Of course we do. Oh, here they come. Oh, come God. on. All right, here we go. Okay. Well, why aren't you grabbing him already? Are you afraid? Uh, I'm not afraid of him. I respect him. <laughs> well, come on, get him down from there already. Like this. Ah, oh, good kitty. Barsic. There we go. Come on, come here. Come here, you naughty, naughty uh. boy. Oh, oh, oh damn it! Oh, 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 oh Lord. No. Oh, are you oh. all right? No, I'm fine. Oh, oh goodness. I'm fine. Your jacket. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh. Let me fix no, it. No, thank you. Uh, on the good <laughs> side, you look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is all your fault, Barsic. You know that? Yes. Mm. Okay, that's okay. it. Okay. Goodbye. See you. Bye -bye. See you. Oh, Mama. I guess Olga will soon get married and leave the nest. Why is that? They can't take their eyes off each other. You know, getting married is not a challenge at all. The challenge <laughs> is staying married. Oh, Let's please. see who's faster. No, 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 no. <laughs> Illusion. Them. Like they think they're Romeo and, and Juliet. I wonder if they've already done sure. it. No way, our Olga would never even leave like the air. Right, let's go get some juice. No, oh, I love yours. Ooh, hey, look at this guy. Now. Let me have your attention. Oh. No more boring slow dance oh. music. Oh. Let's rock out now. <laughs> let's get out of here. Hmm? Okay. We agree. It's not my fault you're wearing heels. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and you please, lose. Igor. You're still beautiful, no, no, wait, it's all right. Wait, oh. You look gorgeous <laughs> running, at least. Wait, 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 I want to swing, too. It's not my fault you're wearing heels. Oh. Now I'm the first to swing. Oh, oh. oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Hold it. Let me put my shoes down. Uh, yes. Okay. It's Olga. my turn now. Uh, you remember how? Oh, uh, <laughs> and oh no, I'm afraid. Go. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Oh. Well done, huh? Okay. Yes, Be one sure? more time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay then. Come on. All right. And oh. air it up. Uh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. 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 No. no, we're not drowning. Oh. No. Yes, okay. yes, yes. It's okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I'm standing. I'm standing up. I'm telling you, I'm standing up. We're not drowning. Don't worry. It's okay, we're not drowning. <laughs> you got scared? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. 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 Oh, my gosh. You haven't lost anything, have you? No. <laughs> well, my little sister. You've already finished school. Time goes by so fast, doesn't it? That's for sure. Now I have to prepare for the exams. That's okay. You'll get into medical school without a problem. Thank you, you Mother. You are so bright. And thank you for working so hard. Oh! Hello! Oh. 
You really shouldn't scare people like that, Igor. What if I give birth right now thanks to you, Igor? You acrobat. Well, then, I'll deliver the baby and hope it's a boy. Oh, you're real <laughs> oh, Thank you. Why did you climb up uh, here? To better remember this moment, my love. Ah. Miss Arkhipova, please don't scold me. I'll explain everything to you right now, okay? <laughs> Excuse Careful. me. I mean, um, Miss Arkhipova, Tatiana, I am asking for... I'm asking your daughter's hand in marriage. Well, say something, Mom. I can't believe this is happening. So, yes. So? Well, what will we take? What we'll take? We'll take what you say. What? Well, you can't have too much land. Let's take two plots. Hello, Mom and Dad. Yes. Here, my sweet loving son is home. Good morning. Well? Good morning. I have some news. I'm getting married. Well, this is very exciting, son. I proposed to Olga, and she said yes. Hmm. Well, that's great. <laughs> that's really great. No, well, I knew you wouldn't mind. I mean... No, marriage is generally a good thing, of course. I am against common law marriages myself, but what are you going to give your dear Olga? Uh, Dad, we love each other, and that's all that truly matters. Love is wonderful. Right? It's truly wonderful. But uh, love won't put food on your table. Listen to me, son. You'll graduate from the Automobile and Road Technical University. You'll get a job and start earning money. And then you can get married, get divorced, anything you want. The world will be your oyster. Well, I have more news for you. What is it, son? I decided to go to medical school in Moscow. A doctor now then, huh? Dad. Well, Sonny, will you please, really, what medical school are you talking Mom. about? Olga has knocked you senseless, Mom. hasn't she? Rima, bring some gingerbread cookies. Talk some sense into your son. Olga, darling, listen to me. What if you have a baby too soon and you both aren't ready, huh? What would you do about school then? What will you live on? And you'll have arguments and resentment. I know it. Oh, Mom, stop. Why do you always have to think about worst-case scenarios? It's not worst-case scenarios. I've just lived a lot more life than you. Hmm? You could find a respectable, wealthy man. You're such a beauty. And you'd never have to struggle or work. Please, what is your Igor? Hmm? Well, he's a big baby. No profession, no money. He's got nothing. Hmm. No? Please just get into medical school first, and then we'll think about it. I hope you have agreed now, Igor. No weddings before graduating first. And get your life set up. By the way, you know, your grandfather? Yes, Dad, I know. He proposed to your grandmother only after he got this apartment first and figured himself out. I get it, Dad, thanks. Maybe we could put some of Mr. Orlov's things into the overhead cabinets. How does that sound, honey? Have you gotten the cookies? Of course. Well, put them on the table, then. <gasps> Stop that right now, son! What's wrong? <sighs> I've proposed to Olga in the presence of both her sister <gasps> and her mom. I only have one way now. How do you Igor, do it, hand Dad? over the pistol right now. I swear I will throw this damn pistol in the garbage if you don't do it first. Rima, could you please stop being irrational for once? The pistol was my father's and it means a lot. I hope I've been clear with you, son. Talk, silence. You may begin. failed. I feel it. I bet I answered half the questions wrong. No. no, 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 you can't say that. I mean, you're smart. You did everything right. Do you hear me? Well, if for 
any reason you don't have enough points and you, you fail to enter, then you'll get prepared and you'll be enrolled next year. But I need a second opinion. Do you agree, Tiapa? Oh, oh he's so cute! Uh, Tiapa, this is Olga. Olga, uh -huh. Tiapa, what? Yeah, of course, I know she's beautiful. You should tell her that she's smart and she's passed her entrance exam. And so then, so he thinks you did everything right and he oh. says you're smart and he says that you are incredibly beautiful. Uh, this is for you. Oh, I'm so lucky to have you, Igor. <laughs> well, well, spill it. Say it already. What happened? I Tell us did already. It, I passed. Ah! Oh, oh my God. You're my girl. You're my smarty. You're so well, smart. Well, are you? <laughs> yes, and by the way, oh. it's not the same thing as having a love affair with a man while visiting on a business trip. It was true love, Mama. Yeah, right, love. How is Igor? Well, he didn't get in, Mom. Well, we'll have a party to celebrate you, yeah? Then we'll make some yummy pies and cookies. You're so incredible. Oh, I'm so proud of you. That's my girl. Oh. You're smart, you're beautiful, and such a hard worker. <laughs> I never doubted a second you would get into medical school. Igor, I couldn't have gotten in without your support. Oh, sure, you say that now. Oh. Look out, huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> It's a pity you didn't get in, Igor. Don't think about it. It's all because of me, That's too. That's not true. It was my decision. I'm to blame for it. Well, what are you going to do then? Are you going to find a job? That's not happening. No? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like there's uh, only hmm. one option for me now, and that's the army. Hmm. I don't know how I'm going to live without you. Come on, it's only two years. There'll be leaves of absence. We'll see each other enough. Please, don't worry. Uh, don't worry, everything will be fine with us. What's two years? It'll only make us stronger. Really? Really, of course. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what? Have you seen him off? Mm-hmm. She's very upset. That's okay. She's upset now, but later she'll be fine. Now she'll start studying in Moscow. New acquaintances, studies, friends, and she'll forget all about Igor. And there you'll see, maybe she'll meet a more respectable man with an apartment, with money. You hope in vain, Mom. She loves her Igor and wouldn't train that love for any rich man in Moscow. Okay, we'll see. Yes, we will. One, two. One, two. One, two. Faster, faster. One, two, one. Faster, faster. Check that out. Gentlemen, up, up, one more. Good job, well done. I missed you so much. Do you think I didn't miss you as much? Well, how are you doing? You working oh, hard or what, my love? Of course. That's my girl. <laughs> Listen, I have so much homework. I'm learning day and night. I once yeah, fell asleep yeah, in the library. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, but I girl. love what I'm studying. Yeah, good and... girl. Mm. Hello, Igor, dear. Excuse me? How's life? That's great, yeah. Is this your girlfriend or what? My fiance. Mm. Well, she looks nice. Okay, Larissa, guys, please. Mm. Let's go. Fall in, gentlemen. Well, just look at her. 
The young lady's here. Don't hide anything. She's so bold. Yeah, well, I love you, though. Well, maybe you should let her know that. She's jealous, but she does have good taste. Stop being so <laughs> jealous, my future doctor. Come on. <laughs> Well, what are you waiting for? Come on, help yourself, salad, cabbage, eat up. What happened? Did Igor do something? No, he didn't do anything. But I can see how other girls flirt with him, and I really don't like it. Well, their flirting means that he probably encourages it. You do know that I never actually liked mom. him. Mom. What mom? Olga. Look, he'll use you and then he'll leave you. God forbid, he'll leave you with a baby. Like Tatiana. Mom, that's enough. And who's flying? And who? Olga, look, there are guys in med school who have their lives together. You should take a closer look at someone there. I'm not going to look for anyone, Why are you okay? Yelling? You're gonna upset him. Stop that. I'm no, not no. yelling, and I don't need your advice. No, no, I'm sorry, free. sweet baby. Mm. Yeah. You're on an inconsiderate love mouth, yes. Yes, she is. Let's go. The radius bone is os radius. The ulnar bone is, what is it? Os ulna. Oh no, or is it, uh, is it the ulno bone or os? Oh. The ulna bone is os radius, and the radius bone is. <laughs> oh my god. Are you crazy What's or the what? matter? Gera, is that you? Well, take that stupid mask off immediately. Olga, oh, please, I was just joking around with you. Don't be angry. Are you sick in the head or what? You should train your nerves. Doctors have to face worse things than a skeleton. Well, you should train your brain. Are you a free nerve training simulator or what? You're crazy. Are you okay? Yes. I'm sorry, girls. Let me make it up to you. Let's go to a cafe. Anything you want, it's my treat. Thank you, Gera, but you shouldn't. Well, maybe we go for a walk around the city? <sighs> Gera, I have a fiancé. When he returns from the army, we'll get married. See you. Olga. Maybe the two of us can go to a cafe? The three of us. <laughs> Hello, baby. I'm almost there. You got this. Come yeah, on, me go. too, please. Yeah. Olga, yeah, I missed you too, of course. I love you. Yes. Yeah, please, please, my little fool, don't cry. Olga, please, come on. That's it. I, I, I'm sorry, I can't talk. Yeah, bye, my love. Here we go. Step it up. Yes. Who's that, Igor? My fiance. Come on, let's go. Come on. shifts of work now for each Comrade of Comrade Lieutenant, but... Orlov! Three extra shifts. Yes, sir. Dismissed. Platoon, light out. So what's wrong with you, Ricky? Get confused? You don't know how things work? We'll teach you how to respect seniors. Guys, I respect you. Come on. Uh -huh. Let me, uh... So this therapy is completely aimed at eliminating the causes of central and peripheral pain. Oh, is that all? 
It also defines enough, the enough, type enough, of medical enough, and mental enough, 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 darling, brilliant. I'm giving you, I'm giving you it an It also a does plus, okay? the medical effect varies right. depending on, uh, and depending on a completely on different, different factors. The fact yes, it is also, that you have an A plus. Congratulations, brilliant, well done. Uh, well, you can go now. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Krasovsky. Goodbye. <laughs> yes, goodbye. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Bye, Olga. See you later. Yeah. Igor. 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 Get up. Get up. Guys, come here, fast! Uh, uh, Let's take him to the infirmary, fast! Uh, 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 Igor, how are you? Uh, uh, yeah. All right, soldiers. Get out of here, please. Uh, uh, well, what well, do we have here, huh? You got uh, beaten up again? Uh, Real right. bad. Well, that's okay. It happens. Put a bandage on and give him a shot for the pain. Excuse me, doctor, but the guy's barely alive. We should do x-rays Listen to me carefully. Work? When you become a doctor, then you will be prescribing treatment. <sighs> Excuse me, my, my... My... My legs. Now do what you are told to and comply. Attention! About face, forward men! Left, march! Faster, move it, ladies! Orlov, what uh, kind of a one-man show is this? Comrade Lieutenant, I'm sorry, man, the legs hurt. I can't run anymore. All right, the infirmary told me that you were perfectly fine. Have they hurt for a while? Since the moment they said they said that I was fine. Okay, sit here for now. We'll talk. Come on. Let's go. You gotta push through it. Come on, let's go. Let's go. You got this. Come on. How could they have driven this man to be in such horrible shape? I don't understand. Was he kept in a torture cell all the time or what? How couldn't anyone see what was going on? In the infirmary, they bandaged him and let him go. They refused to do any tests, didn't even properly examine him. And then he could barely walk for two more weeks. He was in terrible pain. Of course he was in pain. Walking with gangrene in tarpaulin boots. Yes. It looks really bad. I'm afraid it's too late now. Do you understand what you've done, you son of a whore? This case will be dealt with. You're in a ton of trouble. The media, the committee of soldiers, mothers will get involved. You'll go to prison for negligence. I won't go alone. You know what? I'm fed up with handling you with kid gloves. Of course, I'll get you off the hook once again. But remember one thing. This city hospital is now the only thing you can dream of. Get the hell out. Yes, sir.
sour cream, it'll be much better. I don't want sour cream. Thank you, though. Ah. Uh. Please tell everyone I re-enlisted in the army and that you don't know when I'll be home. And to Olga? What do I tell Especially her? when Olga calls. Well, Sonny, well... Well, why are you like this? She's not to blame for anything. Am I to blame for anything? <laughs> Mom... I don't want to ruin her life. Promise me. Okay. I'll have some sour cream after all. Okay? Oh, good, Igor. Would you like some? Well, I'm having some. Eat. I am, yeah. Eat good. Well, all right. Olga, why are you so sad? You passed all the exams with the highest grade. Okay. Look, you even have black circles under your eyes. We're going out to a cafe. You want to join I us? I can't. I have to catch a train soon. Olga, please, what's the rush? Why do you want to go home? Well, I haven't heard from Igor in two months. I call, he doesn't answer, and he won't call me. Olga, well, there's no sign of him on my end. I've told you, nothing new. Out of sight. It's not going to happen to us. <sighs> Mama. What? Mom. Mom, is Yagorka sleeping? He is, thank God. Mom, do you know who I just saw right now? Who? I, I saw Igor Orlov. How is that possible? It's true, Mama. Well, why didn't he say anything to Olga? I don't know, Mom. Shame on him! Oh, poor Olga is eating her heart out with worry. I'll go to him and I'll talk to him. Here, uh, hold this. Okay. Oh. Good afternoon. We need to talk, Rima. Why, you okay? What happened? Tell your son to leave my daughter alone for good. Mm. Olga is a serious girl, and he's really messing with her head. I've been told that he returned from the army earlier than expected. He hasn't seen Olga. Mrs. Arkhipova. <gasps> No need to worry anymore. I'll leave your Olga alone now. Keep this a secret. I don't want people knowing about it. Hmm. Have a nice day, okay? What took you so long? Look after your Gorka. I'm off to the station to meet Olga. Hold on. Well, I'll be late. Did something happen? You could say that, yes. Igor Orlov returned from the army in a wheelchair. What? I don't know how, but... He lost his legs. I didn't even dare to ask what happened. What a tragedy. That is just so awful. Don't tell Olga Igor is here. Do you understand? She'll never leave him like that if she knows about it. She'll waste her life on rescuing him. Mom, but they love each other so much. Oh, don't you feel sorry for your sister? I do, of course I do. Then don't say a word to Olga. I don't want my daughter to destroy her life. Would you wish something like this on your Yagorka? No way, Mama. That's what I'm talking about. So, my dear daughter, we are not telling her. Not a word. 
Is that clear? As they say, it's a noble eye. You better get going, or you'll be late for the train. Mm -hmm. He doesn't text me, and he doesn't return any of my calls. Okay, well, who knows what might have happened in the army. Maybe he's busy. Something urgent. He'll call soon. I'm so worried about him. Maybe his parents know something. I have to go see but them. But why, Olga? Why are you always running after him? If he wanted to call you, he would have by now. Wake up, girl. Grow up and have some pride. Uh, excuse me for saying this, but you started lecturing me like an older sister. Now, I have to go. Bye. Good afternoon, Mr. Orlov. Will you tell me if Igor is okay? He doesn't answer my calls and I'm worried. Dad, can you bring me a couple of sandwiches and CDs, please? Is Igor at home right now? Olga and, uh... Come on, huh? Igor! Igor, are you back for good? Why haven't you called or anything? Huh? Why didn't you call me? What's happening? Stop staring and answer my question. So, uh... In short, I have another girl. Mm. I'm sorry, but she's pregnant. I didn't want it, but it happened. Mm. And we have a wedding soon. You understand, I have to do what's right. A what? I'm marrying someone else. But, but wait, just wait. Olga, wait for what? What? You'd better leave. She's on her way over here now, Olga. It'll be awkward if you're here. Igor, please explain how this happened. Oh, look, don't be so sad. I mean, it could have happened to anyone. Igor? Go home, you fool! I don't love you! <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> oh, my God! Oh, my God! Olga. <laughs> Good afternoon, folks. My name is Sonia. The caregiver we talked on the phone? Yes, good afternoon. Uh, yes, good afternoon. <laughs> so... Olga, 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 stop! Wait, Olga, wait, Olga, what happened? Back. What happened? Him, and he told me. No, just listen to me, Mom. Igor is getting married very soon, and his fiance is pregnant. Olga, my sweet love, please don't cry. I warned you, my love. You know I did. He's not worth you or your tears. Okay? Well, you've seen it for yourself, haven't you? Actually, I think that you should leave for Moscow. The sooner the better. Come on now. You should get a degree. My girl, there's a new life. There are other people there. And this will be well out of sight, out of mind. Oh, Olga, you'll see this will be good for you in the long run. Right now, Igor. Well, 
Ashkin. But I thought you were with Kolesnikova. What the hell is Olga talking about now, Kashkin? Oh, come on. Is this an interrogation? I'll show you an interrogation right now. Get out of here, you jerk. Freaking Don Juan and liar! Why are you so agitated? No reason. Just the man I loved more than life itself turned out to be a traitor. <sighs> there are no normal men in the world anymore. Olga. Olga. Well, how is he? I gave him an injection to sedate him. He'll fall asleep now. Lord, I can't believe how much he's suffering. Thank you, Sonia. I honestly don't know what we would do without you. Don't worry. He'll get better for sure. It just takes time to adjust. <sighs> well, all right. Let's give him some peace. Go now, go. It's fine. Stop fussing over me. Are you upset about something? No, I'm just fantastic. Would you like some juice? The doctor said that it's too early for me to wear prosthetics. That's what's wrong. Doctors know better than us. You've waited for so long. Wait a little longer. Damn it, how long should I wait? I'm healthy, and I'm a young guy who's living who's living off his parents and isn't doing anything with his life. And here you're coming with your juice. Mind your own business, Sonia. Igor, you can't let this rob you of hope. You'll find a job when the time is right. What kind of job? What kind of job will I find? Repairing kettles and iron, something simple and useless? I don't know, but you, you're, you're very smart. You're talented and will have lots of opportunities. <laughs> You're a real friend, you know. <laughs> All right then, Igor. I guess I'll go. I have to visit a patient who's much worse off than you. And then I have a night shift. Pass the pliers. Uh, can you pass me the pliers? The red ones. Look, I'm sorry. I know I'm being... I know I'm acting like an idiot, okay? Well, you're working so hard and I'm just taking it. You know, I have a young child, so I'm used to this kind of behavior. <laughs> what does your husband do? Ah, uh, my husband's only a name. Well, are we cool? See ya. Good afternoon. Mrs. Orlova, good afternoon. Is Igor home? Yes, he is. Come in, please. Igor, you have a guest. Super. Nice to see you, brother. <laughs> nice to see you. How are <laughs> you? Been better. How you doing, huh? What's going on? I was given leave. My mother's in the hospital, though. I just saw her, and now I'm seeing you. What happened to your mother? Well, she had major surgery, but thank goodness she's doing much better. Hmm, well, thank God for that. Igor. I'm so sorry, I... Well, I understand that you're in this wheelchair because of me. Let's not talk about it, okay? If you're me, you would have done the same thing. Moreover, it's not because of you, but because of... Igor, uh, if you need anything, I'm always here for you. I really mean that. Anything, please, don't hesitate. Well, thank you, my brother.
Are you ready? Look, you're on your feet again. Are you completely out of your mind, ma'am? You're the one driving without looking at the road, without a care in the it's world. It's idiots like you that make innocent people go to prison, and if you ask me, you should be there. Don't drive so fast, then you won't have to go to prison. You are a fool. You're an idiot. Good morning, Miss Arkipova. How was your trip? Don't even ask. There are so many idiots on the road. Do we have many patients? No, not really. Today, the medical director is setting up his office. He's expecting our department at three to introduce himself. They say he's young, not even 40 yet. Under 40 and a medical director? I doubt he earned his way into that job. Nepotism rules the world. Okay, send me the patient in five minutes. So, my friends, the most important thing is discipline. If you're going to be at work by eight o'clock in the morning, it means that at 7.45, you're to be dressed, in a good mood, and... Ready to work. Why are you late to the first meeting with your new boss? I'm sorry, I was told the meeting was at three. Probably there was a mistake. Oh, please, don't give me any excuses, okay? Grow up and stop blaming people. What's your name? Arkipova? Stand there and be silent, Arkipova. If you do this one more time, I will fire you. Is that clear? Mm. Is that clear? Yes. Excellent. So, what was the most important thing? Discipline. This right here is unprofessional. And you should know better in your position. So let us continue. You should have seen what hatred he was looking at me with. As if he were the one who was walking in the street and got hit by the car. Oh, Olga, stop it already. Everything will work out with your chief. And if it doesn't, you can always leave. Are you kidding? I'll prove to this young hotshot that I'm a good specialist. Wait, you said young. Is he good looking or what? Oh, Tanya! We should find someone to marry you. You only think of guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh your cork Look at what you're kicking. Of course, man. We'll do it whenever you want to do it. At the highest level, yes, a VIP award. Just for you, and all the doctors will check on you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, well, of course we're free, my friend. Uh huh. Well, that's all. Why are you insulting me? Goodbye. So listen, I'll see you to the room right now and... Uh, wait, perfect. Olga, Olga. One second, all right? Examine this patient for me real quick. I'll join you in a moment. Mm-hmm. Good afternoon. What brings you here? I'm experiencing stomach pain right under the ribs without any reason. And it suddenly stops. Mm-hmm. Have you fasted today? Yeah. Follow me, please. Are there any stones? Not that I know of. Oh, I see. You do have a stone in the pelvis. What stone? He has pain due to cholecystitis. None of the other doctors have found any stones. This kind of stone can't be seen right away. It changes location, and due to this, there are sharp attacks of pain. There it is. 
But don't worry, the surgeon will remove it. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, thank you. Go get dressed. Well, thank you so much, Victor. You're welcome, buddy. I'll arrange the surgery for you, Asa. Thanks again, my friend. Oh, by the way, listen, man, I envy you. Such beauties all around. And the blonde <laughs> one has a brain. It's a rare combination. Thanks again. I gotta go now. Goodbye. Don't get sick. Good luck. I'll see you soon, bro. a new meat recipe. I really think I'm getting better no, with meat. I'm not hungry. You should eat, Igor. I'm going to bed. So then apparently she said yes, and that new Make guy punched for her Dr. right Double in Chin. the... Good morning. I'm going on a diet. I feel like a beached whale. Ugh. My mom thinks love is shown by jamming food down my throat, and now I'm not Miss getting Olga into a swimsuit. Excuse me. Good morning. Good morning. What's wrong, doctor? No, everything is fine. I just, uh, I just wanted to apologize for, for yelling at you in the meeting, and for almost hitting you with my car the other day. <laughs> I hope you weren't angry. No, honestly, I've already forgotten. Well, that's good to hear. Is that all you needed? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Olga, um, by the way, that stone diagnosis you gave turned out right. And the patient is a close family friend, so thank you very much. Oh, no, you don't need to thank me, doctor. Just doing my job. Hello, Miss Arkipova. How about I give you a lift somewhere? Oh, no, thank you. I live far away from here. Oh, no, here. I insist. <laughs> wow. These bags probably weigh more than you. What's in oh, them? It's all jelly. Uh, excuse me? It's jelly or jam. Well, it's my mom's way of showing love, and I can't refuse it. Regardless, other than this jelly, I really have no food. Okay. That's very nice of your mother, and maybe you should make her some money for her business. A lady should never have to carry such heavy things. Your husband should do that. Mm. I don't have a husband. I guess in that case, since there's no man to take care of you, mm. and sadly, since your refrigerator only has jars of jam, could I, Olga, ask you out to a restaurant and feed you? Oh, that's very kind, but you shouldn't. Oh, yes, I should. Uh... <laughs> Get into the car, Miss Akipova. Um... Hmm. Vitello Tonato in this restaurant is the best thing on this menu. <laughs> well, it's just a dish. It's, uh, it's light and full of flavor. I recommend it. If you say so, I'll try your recommendation. Mm -hmm. Well, then I guess I will have a roll of Tonato. These are very similar dishes, you know. I'll pour it myself. Can I pour you a glass of wine? Thanks. I'll take just a little bit. You don't want to get drunk. I don't want to fall asleep. For some reason, wine makes me... It usually makes me sleepy. <laughs> You're a very sincere young lady, Olga. I'm gonna be frank with you just how you are. I like you very much. Mm. Well, I guess this is the part where I say something sweet in response. 
but for some reason, there's a saying from the classics. God help you worse than all disasters, your master's anger, or your master's love. <clears throat> well, you are a brave young lady. I don't want to offend you, Mr. Ivanov, but, but I'm not looking for a romantic relationship. Olga, just let our romantic relationship develop the way you want it to for yourself, all right? And now let's just have dinner and that's all. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to help me today, okay? Uh, with some... I'm so sorry, but I'd like to have a word in private with Miss Arkhipova. Of course, Mr. Ivanov. Guess what is it? Miss Arkhipova. Ah, the Oka. Today I'm leaving for St. Petersburg. I have to attend a conference there. I'll be back in five days. And I'd be really happy if you were living in my apartment when I return. What's that? Look, you don't need to answer now, but just please, think about it, okay? I would be over the moon if you said yes. Do you agree? Mm. Yes. Why do you need all of this garbage? It's not garbage. It's family photos, a school album, childhood, adolescence, university. It's the fourth trip down already. Are you moving out, Olga? Yes. Well, good luck, then. Thank you so much. Goodbye, you two. Yes, goodbye, sweet Olga. <laughs> Oh, your fault, doctor. And calling the doctors an insult to every doctor out there. Is something wrong? Who's this guy in the picture? But why ask about him right now? No reason. I'm just curious who this man is to you. Maybe a relative or a classmate. This was my first love, Igor. We were going to get married. But he went to the army, and when he returned, he had another girl. All right, then. Let's go. Hmm. Good luck to Goodbye. you, Olga. Hello, fighter. So, is the second guy alive? Oh, that's good. The teacher wants to talk to you right now. This isn't a good thing, you know. <laughs> good afternoon. Vanya is behaving too aggressively lately, and it's a problem. Perhaps this is the result of a psychological trauma he received in early childhood. Okay, I hate to ask you, but... Do you often quarrel with your wife in front of your child? Well, you don't quarrel at all. Well, then. Uh, so Sonia hasn't told you the story? No, what story? Well, um, actually, Vanya's biological father, basically, he was an alcoholic. He beat the two of them. They barely managed to get away from him. 
I'm sorry. I, I didn't know that. And, okay, well, you know, I'll, I'll try to give Vanya more of my patience and understanding. You know, if Sonia didn't tell you about it, then, um... Well, let's keep it between us, okay? Huh? Of course. Igor. I'm Miss Ivanova. <laughs> nice to meet you. Oh, well, can I go now? <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> Are you gonna tell Mom about this? Of course not. We are men, aren't we? And men never betray each other. Come on, man, put it there. Ow! Of course you beat everyone with such strength. Hello! Hey, look, Vanya, let's agree like men, huh? No more fighting with anybody. Okay? Okay. You promise? Promise. Oh, that's my boy. Hello, Mom. Hello. Hello. Hello? <laughs> Vanya, wait, what's this? You've gotten into a fight again? Listen, everything's fine. We already figured it out. How is everything fine? Okay, Vanya, go wash your hands. Uh, I gotta go, too. What do you mean? Don't go. Have lunch. I... I don't have time. I've actually gotta go to work. Hmm. When will you be back, then? Uh, it's gonna be late. Try not to be too late, okay? So that mm. Vanya doesn't stay home alone. I have a night shift tonight, you remember, don't you? Of course. I'll see you. Goodbye. Vanya, come on, let's have lunch. Why are you so gloomy? Have you quarreled with Igor? Igor and I never fight. I almost wish we did. He, you know, goes to goes to work early, comes back very late, and then we don't even talk. He goes to bed, and that's it. I think for him, well, it's like an empty place. This takes time, Sonia. Everything will be fine. Thank you so much. Good evening, Sonia. Good evening. What did you want? I wanted to say that everything is fine. I've already called the plumber. What kind of a plumber? What happened? Well, to fix you so that you don't have water dripping from your eyes. <laughs> I don't even know how to react to that right now. Funny because I don't know how to react to you either. Excuse me? Well, I mean, I've even bought a chocolate bar. Can you imagine that? I'm so basic, giving a nurse a chocolate bar. I mean, everyone does that. What a nightmare. <laughs> Forgive me, but please take it. Thank you for that, Mr. Miranov. My name's Stepan. Thank you, Stepan. <laughs> Mr. Miranov. Hmm. <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, how's your shift? Oh, the shift was totally exhausting. First, the ambulance brought two patients in, and at first, well, it's clear we admitted them to the department and I treated them with medicine. And then, listen to this, one of them got sick from the medicine? Why am I telling you all this? You're not really listening. Excuse me? I am listening to you, okay? Don't start. I heard, uh, upset stomach and two patients, all that stuff. Igor, you know I... I don't deserve this treatment from you to be ignored and taken for granted. Again? What do you mean again? How dare you say again? Just remember how much I've done for you, Igor, seriously. Do you remember how you were when they brought you here? Don't you remember how I stayed up all night with you and took Enough. care of you? Please be careful. Do you remember how you wanted to commit suicide? How I persuaded you that you would be able to walk on, that you would walk on prosthetic legs soon and that no one would know.
You know, it seems to me that I deserve a little attention and compassion and kindness from you. Some gratitude. I didn't ask you to do any of this, Sonia. Can you get me the cloth? Mom, why are you making a fuss? Everything's fine. I knocked the tea over. Why, do, why don't you brush your teeth? You're gonna be late for school. No, I'm not. Let's go brush your teeth now. Princess. Hmm. Good morning, Victor. Breakfast is ready for you. And one more thing. Ah! Oh! oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Will you marry me? Yes. It seems to me you aren't listening to me. John, listen, I consider the issue settled. That's exactly the reason, because young professionals should be encouraged. Arkhipova should become the head of the ultrasound department instead of Mel. Yes, John, instead of Melnikov, good lord. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, I'm so glad you finally understand me. Yes, have a nice day, yeah. I was told you wanted to see me. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you remember what day it is? I remember, darling. It's our first anniversary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. And to celebrate, I have a gift. Ah. To appoint Miss Arkapova. What is this? It's self-explanatory. You'll be head of the ultrasound department. What about Melnikov? What do you mean, Melnikov? He's 60 years old. It's time to rest. Do you want to throw him away like some junk? He's a professor, doctor of medical sciences. How will I be able to look him in the eye? Look, I'm sorry, but I think you can do a better job than he can. Much better. But he's worked in this hospital his whole life. What other work for him can we talk about? You don't treat people like this. I don't understand what you want. I'm doing this for you. You wanted a career. Here's a career. Don't you dare do this to him. Otherwise, I'll quit. Such a drama queen. Sir, looks good, you're all set. You can get dressed. Vera, yes. We'll continue the exam in a different room. I don't understand how you can work like this. Actually, hospital management should have taken care of this a while ago. Melnikov has been asking for new computers for a while. But they say there's no money. <sighs> well, yeah. Olga, where do you think all that money is going? Mm -hmm. Olga. Olga, I'm sorry about earlier, okay? I don't want to fight with you. Maybe you're right about Melnikov. Thank you. I really need to talk to you. About what? Well, it's about... Do you realize how old our equipment is? We can't even scan properly. What if we miss something? You understand there may be consequences. I have a budget meeting soon, and I'll think of something. I promise. Hmm. Let's go.
Good morning, ladies. Well, look who gets the fancy equipment, Miss Arkhipova. Do you like working on a new computer, Doctor? What are you talking about? The equipment has been installed for you, and the rest of us just oh. get by without it. No computers, we don't get repairs, we don't even have decent furniture to sit mm -hmm. on, Doctor. Excuse me. Hmm. Oh. Go play with your new computers, spoiled. Olga, you should understand that there's not enough money for everything. Little by little, you know, we will get it. And don't defend your colleagues, please. Why should you? Well, I feel embarrassed. You feel embarrassed. Stop it. Especially considering that I have a surprise. Are you ready? Yes, I am. What does this mean, Victor? It's all ours, Olga. This is all for you. Tell me where we got that much money for this house. You really don't need to concern yourself with it. Olga, where are you going? Olga, wait. Who am I going to do my best for? Who am I turning myself inside out for? Tell me. Olga, Olga, wait, let's talk, all right, please? I think I know where the money is coming from. At the hospital, the equipment is old, the wall plaster is crumbling, and people are barely paid, and now you have a mansion! Do you think that this is the last hospital money? I can't believe I was so stupid and married. A thief. husband. Well, you can't be like this. After all, anyone can make a mistake. These things happen in a marriage. Victor loves you after all. This is very important. Come on, I'll go pick up the phone. Come on, please. Just pick it up. <sighs> what a temper, huh? Where's my phone, Tatiana? How am I supposed to know where your phone is, mother? Uh, Who do you think I am? Oh, here it is. Yes, hello? Hello, Mrs. Arkhipova, good evening. It's Victor, can I talk to Olga, please? Victor! Oh, God, come on already. The diagnosis is serious, Victor. You're a doctor yourself. You must understand. Of course, we'll do our best, as you know yourself. But I'm not giving you any guarantee, as you know. Just tell me why you didn't come to us earlier. I was examined in my clinic, and the ultrasound scan showed nothing. At an early stage, these things can't be detected by ultrasound. And in this case, a computer tomography was necessary. We don't have that type of equipment. It's expensive. Victor, that's just not the way. You can't save money on such things. It could be catastrophic. did you find me? Well, first of all, this isn't such a big town, you know? And second, you have a good mother. Why did you come here? Olga, I need you very much right now. Really. 
Let's go home, please. What happened to you? I've given you a large dose of medicine just now. In my opinion, you should sleep like a log for a while. Nurse, I can't sleep. Do you want me to give you another sedative? No, thanks. Would you mind taking a look at this, please? This is a plan of a house. I'm building a house. That's great. What do I have to do with it? Here, look. This is a kitchen with large windows, 17 square meters. Is 17 meters enough? I want many, many children, you know, so when we sit down at the table, the whole family can fit. 17 square meters does seem like a lot for our kitchen. Okay, good. Thanks. And here's the living room with the fireplace. It's good to have a fireplace for the winter. It's cozy. Yes, it's very good to have a fireplace. And here I've drawn two figures. You see right there? You see how they're holding hands here, right? It means that Stepan and Sonia. Do you think that this is actually possible? No, it's not actually possible. Uh -huh. Well, then I'll finish this house and then I'll burn it. What's the point of a house? And here below, right there is Stepan's phone number for you to call. He will wait and hope that you call him. Uh, one more thing. Goodbye, Sonia. There's no point to try and hide the truth from you. I have to say that you have almost no chance of recovery. How much time do I have left? Two, three months at most. <sighs> That's enough, I guess, then. Enough to fix mistakes and do what's right. What did the doctor say? How about we sit down and have a drink together? Mmm, hmm? I've made some tea for us. <laughs> no, something stronger. Brandy. You're not supposed to be drinking alcohol, Victor. I can do anything now, Olga. Victor, tell me what happened. I have to tell you something right now. What is it, Victor? I... Uh, I haven't had enough time to change all the equipment in the clinic, as you know. I'm not going to take you to the Maldives. I won't have time. Victor. Victor. Don't you dare give up. Do you hear me? There are clinics that treat diseases successfully. I've heard of miracles in a matter of a month it's or two. It's too late, Olga. It's too late. Victor. Please don't give up. It's too late. <sighs> what are you reading, Igor? It's a book. Do you notice anything? <laughs> Your hair looks great, Sonia. Thank you. Igor, please tell me the truth. Is there something wrong with me? Excuse me? Why don't you love me, Igor? Because I've always loved another woman, Sonia.
and I still love her. Step on? Uh, it's Sonia. What is it? Do you want something to drink? Uh, Olga. Hmm? You remember my really nice gray suit? How could I forget it? You know that one is my favorite. Will you please bury, uh, bury me in it? Victor, don't talk about that stuff. Uh, Olga, this is my last wish. Uh, I'm serious. Well, now, if, if you're joking, then that means everything is going to be fine. Olga, I'm so guilty. Oh, God, I'm so guilty. I'm so guilty. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me. Victor! 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 To my dearest Olga, I'm terribly guilty. All these years I've been hiding the truth. And only now, knowing that I will die soon, I can confess to you. Your fiancé, Igor Olov, was a soldier in the same military base where I worked. Because of my negligence, he lost his legs. The reason I did not tell you about this is because I loved you very much. I was afraid of losing you. So I kept silent. It was mean, I know. But try to understand me. Forgive me if you can. Your victor. You didn't know anything about Igor all this time that he lost his legs. In a small town, if you sneeze on one side, they say bless you on the other side, right? I always knew. I felt sorry for you. You, Tatiana? What kind of a sister are you anyway? What a horrible lie that was. And also, you're my family. The ones who I love and trust the most. I didn't want to upset you, Olga. He has a wife and son. Olga, where are you going?
Hello. Good afternoon, Igor. So, do you live in Moscow? <sighs> yes. Oh, that's good. I uh, didn't expect to see you here. Uh... Are you alone? Well, I mean, uh, shall we take a walk? I'm sure it's difficult for you to walk on those. How uh, do you know about that? Igor. Why did you lie to me when you came home? Why did you decide everything for me? I'm a man, Olga. And a man has to... A real man... Must make... He must make responsible choices he thinks are right. And you still think you were right? Yes. You gave me no choice, Igor. Yes? No, it wouldn't have been easy for me. But I would have endured anything for you. You say that now. A lie to protect someone from pain is still a lie. A lie is always a lie. Maybe, maybe you're right. I'm starting to see that now, Olga. Do you have a family? Goodbye. You've packed your things. Yes, I'm finally leaving you. We both know we never loved each other. Why torture each other with this empty relationship? And Vanya? Don't worry about Vanya, all right? I, I took him to my mother's house. And anyway, you'll have your own children. He's not your son, Igor. Do you have uh, anyone to go to? Yes. I have a man. He's waiting for me in the car downstairs. You know, with him, it's, it's the first time I've understood just how wonderful it is to be loved. I'm so sorry. I really am. I'm really so sorry, too. Do you remember you told me? You spoke about this one woman you always loved. You don't let her go anymore. Go and fight. Good luck, Igor. Let it all out, huh? I have no more tears left, Mom. I'm worried about you, too. Tatiana's life is in ruins. At least I thought you'd be happy. This stuff happens, though. Can I come in? You... 
Why did you come here? I actually ran here. To you. Why are you standing there? Come here, man. <laughs> Congratulations, bro. Hey, Tatiana. Oh, look at Let that. me introduce Everything's you to Vanya, beautiful. Igor's friend from the army. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is my son, Yagorka. <laughs> Hello, young soldier. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let me help you. Right this way. I'll show you where to be. Uh, so great to see you. Hey, thanks for coming. Hey, Tatiana. Okay. <laughs> hey, you two. Let's get to the table already. I'm starving. Oh, you start. Sit on down. We'll be right there. My wife wants to talk to me. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 